Our justice correspondent, Bob Orr, has been working his sources. And, Bob, New York was the suspected target, and it sounds like an attack may have been imminent. In fact, Katie, newly revealed evidence today strongly suggests Najib Bulazazi and his conspirators, who are still on the loose, may have been in the final stages of planning a devastating terror attack on New York. Armed with bomb-making instructions and training received from al-Qaeda handlers in Pakistan, Najibullah Zazi three months ago began collecting deadly ingredients. Court papers filed today reveal Zazi and a small team of conspirators purchased unusually large quantities of hydrogen peroxide and acetone from beauty supply shops around Denver. These common chemicals used to bleach hair and remove fingernail polish, when combined with acid, can produce powerful bombs. Terrorists used this exact mixture to bomb London trains and a bus in 2005, killing 56 people and injuring 700 more. On September 6th and 7th, prosecutors say, Zazi rented a hotel suite with a kitchen near his Aurora, Colorado home. The FBI later found acetone residue in the vent above the stove, evidence suggesting Zazi may have been mixing or heating the chemicals. And wiretaps reveal Zazi frantic for help repeatedly reached out to another individual, seeking to correct mixtures of ingredients to make explosives. Two days later, Zazi drove a rental car to New York where he stayed in this Queens apartment building. After Zazi left, police raids uncovered still more suspicious evidence. A scale which could be used to measure chemicals bore Zazi's fingerprints. Police also found backpacks and cell phones, the kind of common items used to deliver and trigger bombs on trains in Madrid in 2004. The FBI now has identified at least 12 of Zazi's associates. So far, they have not been arrested. In addition, investigators are trying to determine if there is a cache of bomb-making materials hidden somewhere. And they're trying to understand the scope of Zazi's threat. So the question about Zazi's role is still unanswered, in part because we haven't yet answered what does this entire network look like and what does the plot look like. Officials have been tracking Zazi since 2007 and still don't fully understand of what he might have been up to. But one recent intercept carried a chilling terrorist code. I'm going for the wedding, Zazi said, and I have the ingredients for the cake. Katie? Bob, we're in Washington. Bob, thank you.